Hey, how you doing? This is Steve Sims and I'm here in my garage again. And I want to talk to you about a valuable lesson that Joey and Bill Gates taught me. Not about how to get credibility, but about how to use it. Now, Joey is a phenomenal guy, techie guy, specializes in home security systems, AI technology, face recognition, the whole stuff. And he told me about these clients that he was chatting to in the Middle East about supplying this system to their many, many homes that they had. The only way he could get hold of them was to actually meet face to face and they had a layover in San Francisco. So with no further ado, Joey jumps up to the San Francisco airport, checks into the lounge and waits for these clients to actually land. Now, he's waiting in the lounge and over in the corner, he sees Mr. Bill Gates. Now he's sat there getting his presentation and everything ready and he thinks to himself, I've, I've got to go and talk to Mr. Gates, I've got to do it. So he pops up, walks over to the corner taps on the, uh, the edge of Mr. Gates and said, look, I, I'm sorry for disturbing you, I really apologize. It's such a pleasure to meet you. You've been so impactful, not only on my life, but on so many people in the tech industry and just in life in general. So, you know, thank you very much. And yeah, you know, Mr. Gates has been his usual humble so oh, yeah, You're welcome, you're welcome. And Joey turns around and thought he'd take a chance. And Joey turns around and says, look, you know, this is a favor. I, I'm, I'm giving you an ask here. I said, and you are more than welcome to say no, but I'm over there and I'm waiting for some clients from the Middle East to pop over. And I'm gonna be talking to them about my home security systems that I've developed and I've worked on most of my life. Now, I'm not looking for you to validate it. I'm not looking for you to vouch for it, but it would mean a lot if while I'm talking to these people, you could just walk past and just give a little nod and a little wave, and that would be very impactful to me and very powerful. And let's be honest, would look would look really good in front of these people and would impress them. And you know, who knows? You, you could help another entrepreneur. So, what do you think? And he's like, ah, I don't know. He's like, look, you think about it. Don't worry about it. Don't do it. No harm, no foul. So Joey goes back to the chair. He's hearing all these planes coming in over the loudspeaker, and all of a sudden he hears the plane that his clients are on. And they walk in the lounge a few minutes later and he sits down and he starts going through this stuff and, you know, they're biting and he's showing them all the drawings. In the corner of his eye, he can see Mr. Gates get up and they hear uh, something on the speaker regarding the flight. So Bill Gates is walking behind him and he's out of view now. And all of a sudden, Mr. Gates taps him on the shoulder and he goes, Hey, Joey, it's great to see you again. And Joey turns around and he goes, For fuck's sake, Bill, can't you see I'm busy? You see, the tip of the story here is not on getting credibility, it's on how you use it. So have a good day, be nice to Mr. Gates, and all the best. Bye.